All right, the last one for the OSD Island here. Uh, just talking about the less intrusive scrub options coming up. So, Sam, you want to jump all over this one? Okay, this one's short. So there are some things we can do to make scrub less bad. Uh, first is, as many of you are already familiar with, the unified work queue. That is actually pretty much written. It doesn't actually pass tests, but it almost does. It just didn't make it in for Hammer. Um, so finish that up. Two rel uh, one fairly simple one, though, is randomizing the scrub scheduling times to avoid having scrub waves. Right now, when you create a pool, all of the PGs sort of have the same scrub uh, glass scrub stamp, so they all get in line to scrub at the same time, like a week later. Um, this actually does kind of even out over time, because the wave will smooth out. But people still don't like it. So we can do better by adding a, a uniform random fuzz factor when we choose to do the, the scheduling. So it would be something like uh, the deep scrub interval, uh, interval might be you know a week plus or minus four days. Uh, and so that one should just help somewhat. Uh, another piece is that we currently choose to scrub an entire PG if the, if the load is low enough, but we could be more granular about this. We could actually make the decision on each uh, scrub chunk on a chunk by chunk basis, so that if the primary becomes busy halfway through a scrub, scrubbing just kind of stops making progress for a while. So that's another option. Uh, that'll be easier to do once we have the unified work queue. Oh yeah, and another piece of this is once we've committed to doing a scrub, all of the scrub operations need to happen at the highest priority possible. That is once we've committed to scrubbing a chunk, because we're locking that object range during that time. Anyone have any other input? That that the last one is a little bit. I mean, the 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 reality is that anytime you have competing IOs in flight to the disk, no matter how you try to prioritize, they're going to slow things down because the disk garbage are busy and so. Hmm? Oh no, I meant the uh, the uh, message priorities. They should go to the front of the queue so that they're finished quickly, so that the primary can un unfreeze oh, the objects. Okay. They should get. In 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 other words, we should delay the scrub until we decide to do it, at which point we need to do it with the highest message priority possible. Right. It, it's but, a priority in, inversion problem. Yeah, no, I understand that, but there's, but even if you, that that solves the priority inversion if you um, happen to hit one of the unlucky objects, but for the other 99% of the objects, when you're hitting them, you're slowing them down. Yeah, because... so the, that, that component is about um, throttling the choice to enter the scrub region. So when yeah. before we choose to scrub the chunk, we will have paid tokens into the bucket by doing a whole bunch of other work. Yeah. Or we just yeah. choose to not do it if there's other stuff in the queue, something like like yeah. that. In other words, the so once once after we've we've already done the throttling part, we've decided that now is the time for the scrub. At that point, we choose to impact I I I I O as much as possible. Well, yeah. to do it as quickly as possible. Yeah. I, I think that I think that needs to be a decision though, because there are lots of cases where you'd rather have the ninety nine percent of the time have a oh. low impact and and in the one percent of the time have a a longer tail, right? and suffer the priority inversion. Because reality is oh. that we're never going to perfectly be able to prioritize. There's always going to be some cost to doing the scrub. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I mean, okay. So we'll, we'll yeah. The yeah. important thing though is that we should make the the uh, the load decision at each chunk and not for the whole PG. Yeah, yeah. For that one. It means that scrub might not make progress for a while, but that's just the way it goes. So, a, in other words, a PG might be scrubbing for a very long time, if it happens that we're running in the only at low lo low load scheduling mm -hmm. period, and load happened and that would be right. okay that would be as, as as expected it would it would also be an opportunity to at the same sort of decision point um add the ability to throttle scrub on like a objects per second or megabytes per second yeah type thing yep which is the another work way to queue sort of reduce already the number of ios work. that are hitting the disk yes that's right. true yep 
I mean, assuming that we did all the prioritization that we wanted, if a scrub happens and it's basically just pegging the disk, that random IO that comes along is going to be, you know, every single random IO that comes along is going to be impacted, negatively impacted. Whereas if you're sort of trickling through at only 10% of the disk load, then, you know, 90% of the IOs will be unaffected and 10% will. Yeah, that's what's true. Yeah. That makes sense. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. So the, and we have tickets for that. So the only other, we just want to do four. Um, that scrub. Yep, I'll add a feature for that. I wonder if, just in general, if we want to, anybody who's sort of hitting these issues, like really the scrub window size should just be one, like one object. Yeah, I'm worried about it never size. completing. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of overhead associated with with scheduling a scrub chunk because we 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 do some work to interleave the scrub message passing with. Wait, do we? Yeah, because we we embed a sort of a last update thing in the message, and then the replica receives it, and then waits until that exact one applies, and then immediately does this this the scrub and returns. So mm -hmm. the the oh the primary doesn't have to wait for the messages. Uh, maybe though. I mean, it's small I mean, now. It's like five, I, I, I think. Yeah. That might be too big for an RBD pool, though. Yeah. I think for deep, or maybe maybe separate a separate setting for deep scrub, like for the shallow scrub, five probably makes yeah. sense. <clears throat> but for. It would be nice if there was a warning that says like it's let's say you have your deep scrub once a week, where when it's in. <sighs> where you you didn't get to all your pgs then we would create a warning oh that's a good point that says you can, you you couldn't do it <laughs> so you we can't honor your once a week deep scrub because we can't get through everything in a week yeah so the the mon could do a health warn for pgs where the last scrub stamp is more than n times the, exactly. the larger yep. interval yeah yeah we already have all the information we have for that or need for that. Yep. Adding that one also. Okay. Um Okay. Unified keyword for smarter prioritization. Yes. Scrub was the was scrub the first thing that you were putting in that queue, or was it Recovery. Uh, no, I I gave up on recovery. I'm doing scrub and snap trim first. Okay. Okay. Recovery turned out to be a pain because there are like two different ways we stop recovery from being scheduled. It was yeah. a pain in the ass. Yeah. Okay. And Somneth asks for scrubbing recovery. Is there a way to get predictable QoS? <laughs> no. There are many small things we can do to improve it. <laughs> Isn't it more meaningful to implement that along with the scrub improvement? I think we're it's yes and no. I mean, there are like lots of small problems we have to solve. Um, but the most central problem, I think, is this unified queuing for smarter prioritization, which is part of this. And I mean, that's going to be, that's limitedly smart. It's It pretty much just shoves everything in the same queue with a token bucket scheme. So at mm -hmm. the very least, we're not using whatever thread scheduling uh, happens to give us. It doesn't actually give us guaranteed QoSs. Yeah, that's a more difficult um, problem. Yeah, but all these all these things are going to help, right? So setting the scrub rate to be lower is going to throttle it. Randomizing them is going to help. Um, reducing chunk size for deep scrub will probably help. So Doing low hanging thing will help. Yeah, low hanging fruit. Yeah. I mean, some if if you guys have a good sort of good ideas. <laughs> A technique, we're all yours. It's it just it's a moderately yeah. difficult problem. Yeah. Not that hard. System solve it, but yeah. 
Yeah, I think that the most I've gleaned from what other systems do is just that they throttle, like they limit it to n megabytes per second. And that, yeah. Yeah, because we don't we don't get any kind of real time guarantees from any of the layers below us either, so it's it's hard to make any kind of guarantees. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Are else? we adjourn until six? Hey, is this the very end of if, of us here? <laughs> Day two point one. Yeah. All right. Yep. I think so. Let me get.